the idea here is to keep it simple. Simplicity is the name of the game. Being consistent is the name of the game. So there is a fine line between being boring and being repetitive and making it work. You have to find that sweet spot of how can you arrange your music. Hey friend, Daniel here with StockMusicLicensing.com, bringing you the best tips and strategies for selling your music on royalty-free libraries. I wanted to answer here to another question that I just uh, been dropped on one of my videos. I had a question about arrangement of stock tracks, actually. There's an idea starting to develop in my mind that libraries and customers mostly want tracks with similar energy levels throughout the entire track. Not sure if this is true. Yes, it is true. Uh, you have to be consistent. Consistent is the name of the game when it comes down to arrangement. And there can be development of energy throughout, but at the same time, there could be a little bit of a tension and release, just like you will find in any type of music form or anything that is popular when it comes down to, to commercial music or to anything that is a pop, if you will. Depending on the genre, the arrangement is going to be slightly different, but the energy has to be consistent. Uh, you go on about saying that, for example, a track that's uh, three minutes long has one minute upbeat fast energy, then one minute of a much slower section and then uh, it carries on to describe the track. Uh, will this not be desired in stock music like changes in energy? There are some tracks that you will listen in, uh, I don't know, the top of 40s or, or whatever is popular at any given time in music, in radio or Spotify, whatever. Whatever very popular music tracks that are out there when it comes down to listening, some of them could work in stock, but not necessarily, all right? And most of the times they won't work because it's arranged in such a way that it's for pleasure listening. It's not something that is gonna be aimed to be a sync to an image or it's not gonna be working with a media. It's not, gonna be work, it's not gonna be working in a presentation. So to answer to that question, I wouldn't take a top hit in Spotify or whatever is out there at this very moment, whoever is popular at this very moment, I don't know, Lady Gaga maybe? Uh, I don't really follow the trends right now. Whoever is right now at this very moment are hot or whatever is the tracks that are happening at this very moment, I wouldn't use that as a template for stock music. I wouldn't use this type of music tracks as a template, uh, especially when it comes down to the arrangement. The arrangement usually for stock libraries is much more uh, straightforward. This is very simple, actually. And it's interesting, this question about arrangement. I just released for this month a workshop inside the ESML Mastermind Private Community, a workshop about how to arrange music for stock libraries. All right, welcome to the workshop. In this workshop, we're going to be arranging our loop our composition if you missed the previous uh, workshop which is how can I write a music track in 30 minutes or less for stock libraries you should watch that workshop first this is in essence uh, part two if you will uh, I want to show you how I get out of this loop and let's listen to see. if you want to learn more about this uh, private community of mine where we get together um, amazing composers and um, producers from around the world link in the description to join the waitlist at the moment the doors are closed but if you're interested to be part of a private community where we encourage each other on how to get our music uh, into stock libraries and how can we get better at our craft link in the descriptions you will find more about this you don't need to arrange that much i like to think of it in terms of like an intro a verse and a chorus and then kind of like a breakdown but the breakdown is not really a breakdown it's just something um to create that uh, release and then or tension and then go back to that energy and then wrap it up and then end it you know so three minutes really it could be a long track depending on the genre that you're talking about if we're talking about stock tracks in terms of arrangement but 90 seconds of a piece of music is perfectly fine for a stock track so shoot stock tracks shoot this kind of energy ups and downs and try to maintain similar energy levels throughout when it comes down to arrangement and energy they need to be really consistent when it comes down to stock music anything that has to do with stock libraries the main idea is to actually provide something that from the get-go it creates an immediate response okay it creates uh, an immediate energy feel there are some tracks that you need to be 
develop uh, in a different way if it's a cinematic track and it starts very low and there's slowly a build up that could be something different the energy will be completely different if it's a cinematic track but if we're talking about strictly commercial music corporate music or anything that is going to be straight to the point advertisement commercial that is not cinematic that is not starting with a slow very quiet uh, atmosphere and then slowly builds up and then there's a crescendo and then eventually there's an explosion we're not talking about those tracks we're talking about more straight to the to the to the point kind of commercial tracks then yes the energy needs to be consistent you can play as much as you want with that energy and that tension and release or questions and response with your music and melodies and motifs and chord progressions. But the idea here is to keep it simple. Simplicity is the name of the game. At the same time, being consistent is the name of the game. So there is a fine line between being boring and being repetitive and making it work. You have to find that sweet spot of how can you arrange your music that even from the intro, those first three to five seconds, it grabs the customer, the client, uh, I, you know, ear and attention. The attention spam is really, really short when it comes down to searching for music on libraries. So clients don't have a lot of patience. And quite frankly, nobody has a lot of patience nowadays with anything. So you have to be very consistent, even with your intros. The intro should be very, very quickly uh, develop into a verse. So you only have a few seconds really to tell that story. And if we're talking about commercial music, the, the introduction should be with those main core elements of uh, core progression and motifs really, really fast. You need to get to the point very quickly and be consistent with that energy and play around with attention and release when it comes down to changes, when it comes down to transitions, but don't do any sudden uh, stops. Don't do any sudden core progression changes and try to be a little bit fancy with the arrangement uh, because at times it doesn't really work with stock music. I hope this is helpful to you. If you're new to music licensing or to royalty free libraries, download my free guide, link in the description. I love you very much. And as always, rock and roll and here's to your success.